My name is Katie Mosley, and I am a Technical Assistance Specialist with the Indiana IEP Technical Assistance Center. Welcome to our six-part series on co-teaching. The purpose of this video is to discuss specially designed instruction, or SDI, within the CoTalk classroom. According to IDEA, SDI is adapting the content, methodology, or delivery of instruction to address the unique needs of the child that results from a child's disability and to ensure access to the general curriculum so that the child can meet educational standards. As noted by Ann Benninghoff in Specially Designed Instruction, Increasing Success for Students with Disabilities, the federal definition provides three what's and three why's of SDI. Let's start with the what's. Educators are charged with adapting content, methodology, and the delivery of instruction. The content reflects what students are learning. In most cases, this includes what concepts or materials needed to meet the standards, whereas the methodology represents how students are taught, the instruction, strategies, and techniques the teacher employs to promote student learning. The delivery of instruction conveys when and where learning is taking place. Think about the frequency or duration of instruction, the location of the service, and even the group size. The definition then provides three whys of SDI. First, SDI meets the unique needs of the student. Next, it ensures access to general education. And finally, SDI allows students with disabilities the opportunity to meet the standards that apply to their non-disabled peers. Beyond this, most of the interpretation of what SDI looks like is left up to individual corporations, schools, and even teachers, but the instruction must ensure meaningful benefits to students. SDI is what makes special education special. If students are eligible to receive special education services, SDI must be planned for and included consistently within their school day. Ensuring students with disabilities are provided SDI is essential and must not be overlooked when students are included within a co-taught classroom. SDI, though most often designed by special educators, can be provided by the special education teacher general education teacher, and even supported by paraprofessionals. Specially designed instruction does not include strategies that are utilized with all students. It is not providing supports within a multi-tiered system of support, differentiating instruction, or even planning instruction utilizing universal design for learning. SDI is different in that it is legally defined and federally mandated. SDI is not simply providing accommodations and modifications. As Marilyn Friend and Tammy Barron state in Specially Designed Instruction for Co-Teaching, SDI is instruction tailored for students with disabilities and adjusted as needed that enables them to reach their goals. Guiding questions for SDI include, is it special? It must be something different from the typical general education practices of UDL and differentiated instruction. Does it address the child's unique needs? Is it related to an IEP goal? Are we collecting data for progress monitoring? Is it instructional rather than a tool or accommodation? Is it intentional? Designed to bring about progress? Is it growing a skill that will be transferable or generalizable? Is it building independence? When planning for SDI, it is important to remember these seven steps. Clarify the learning target for the lesson. Pinpoint the difficult moments students may experience. Choose IEP goals to address during the lesson or lesson series. 
Identify the metacognitive process that a successful learner might use. Adapt the general approach. Attend to necessary access or executive function skills. And build on specific methods to boost participation. Remember, both the teachers in a co-teaching partnership can assist with SDI implementation as it is a collaborative team effort from the general educator and the special educator. SDI is a balance between the standards to which all students are held and the unique learning needs of a student with disabilities. It is at the very heart of what makes special education unique and must be carefully planned, implemented with fidelity, and assessed to determine its impact on student outcomes. Thank you for participating in this six-part series on co-teaching. If you have any questions about this information or any other topic, connect with us on the IEP Technical Assistance Center's website, iepta.org.